Guys, I thought we did a lot of good things today, uh, particularly at the start. I thought our presence on the glass was really good. Uh, and we, we, we played to the game plan in many respects. We didn't convert at the rim the way that we need to. Obviously, in rotation, we didn't make catch-shoot shots at the rate that we needed to. Um, the live ball turnovers continued to hurt us. Uh, we were better at that in the second half than we were the first half. Um, an incredible environment, a, a team that's good enough to win the national championship. We did do some good things, just not good enough to win um, today. Questions? Buzz, is it more of a credit to Auburn, the way Auburn played defense on you guys, or is it just a matter of, you know, missing open looks? Yeah, I always want to give credit um, to the opponent. I, I do think uh, there were some shots, particularly in the first half, that maybe you would say, uh, should we have shot it? We were a little out of sorts on three or four possessions where you, you have to shoot predictable shots. A block shot against them typically turns to transition. An ill-advised shot turns to transition. Um, and we got better. The game, the game needs to be a little choppy in regards to how Auburn wants to play. Um, but for the most part, uh, the looks that we had, at the rim, we got to the rim uh, today 48% of the time. That is really good. Uh, but we converted less than 40%. And then obviously, I know that they didn't make many more threes than we did. I guess percentage wise, we actually shot better from three. But going into today, we were not good at contesting threes. We were much better uh, at our contest, either at running them off the line or being there on the catch. But I do always want to give credit to the opponent. But at the same time, we've got to be able to make shots, particularly when they're catch, shoot, and out of rotation. Buzz, could you have uh, anticipated that y'all would have, you know, some of those issues uh, inside just because they're so big and talented there? Yeah. Um, you know, our, our plan on the defensive glass was really good. Um, I think we ended up having the same number of offensive rebounds that they did. We went small, Olin, uh, towards the latter part of the second half, uh, just trying to manufacture some points. And so when we went small, they hurt us on the glass. I think they had six offensive rebound putbacks in that second half when we were small. But it was... It's kind of hit or miss, like we're doing a good job on the glass, but we're struggling to score. And so I put another guard in and we got smaller in hopes that we could score. And then the byproduct obviously is they, they beat us on the glass. Well, as you described it as, as a gauge uh, for better or worse going into this game, would you describe it afterward as a gauge in terms of where you hope to be, you know, at some point with your program as well? Yeah, I thought, I thought our guys, uh, togetherness and their fight was much better from start to finish. Brent, obviously in the eight game losing streak, we've tried a variety of different lineups, a variety of different personnel groupings. We've made some adjustments in special situations on both sides of the ball. I think our guys have absorbed that in the right way. Nobody has had uh, a bad attitude or there hasn't been any level of drama. You know, I looked at, um, uh, I kind of keep like a history. I don't even know how to explain it. I would have to show it to you after the season, like per game that we play, kind of like how we research and how we study. And uh, I'd kind of do the same thing on coaches. I didn't realize that, I, I guess I was just off a little bit. Going into today's game, for some reason, I thought it was Coach Pearl's seventh year here, but it's his eighth year. And um, his win last week, put him one game above 500 in the SEC. Uh, I did not know that I was off a year, but I think he was one game above 500 in the SEC going into this year, into this game. Uh, obviously, I understand that I'm below 500, um, but I do, I do think that how we competed um, and how we played to the game plan was much better in this environment. And it was a good gauge. Our guys were together, they were connected. And we, we have a lot of work to do. I understand we're four and eight, uh, but, but I was encouraged from start to finish the togetherness that they played with. 
Anything else for coach? Uh, coach, uh, with, do you prefer now with a game like this to have a shorter turnaround to kind of, you know, hopefully have put everything more together and have more of a bounce back? Yeah, I think we play, I could be wrong on this. I think we play Tuesday and Saturday every week in, um, in February. And so that makes Wednesday our off day. And then similar to what you're saying, I don't know. I know today was an early game, but you know, Tuesday night we'll be here quick. And so the last two Sundays, we've kind of adjusted what we do relative to our team and what we do relative to the opponent. And I think that that's helped us. Uh, you can't keep practicing two hours a day uh, this time of the year, particularly following a road game, even after a Saturday night home game for that matter. And so I think that adjustment by our staff has been right. And I think our kids have done a good job with that. So we'll, we'll have to diagnose this game tonight when we get home as a staff and then make sure when we start tomorrow, we bring up the most important priorities from today, but then we've got to get going in preparation for Florida. Anything else? All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you, Buzz. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Buzz. Yes, sir.